Hello? I'm here. Yeah, okay, yeah. Koi. Wait, I can't see you. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, you so you're there. Okay. So just what I have promised you that um, you were going to share again the song, right? It's all about golden hour, and we were going to discuss the lyrics of that song. Okay. Um. Oh. Actually, we yeah we can be able we can be able to have that one since that can also be. Um, a topic, right? So that can also yes. be a topic, okay? And uh, we can be able to, yeah, because in an IELTS exam, we don't know, maybe there would be a song that you were going to discuss, that you were going to, uh, what is one, to elaborate further. So we wouldn't know, okay? So therefore, uh, as part of our lesson also, we can also include that one and we can discuss that one Okay, the lyric of this song. Okay, so can you share that one to me? Or would you like to sing it? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> okay. So I can't also sing because I don't know how to sing. I'm not a singer. <laughs> uh, lyric? Um, or maybe, yeah. Maybe we can, we can, um, I don't know, what are you going to do with that? So you can play with the, something that uh, that has a lyric in it. And then maybe the first stanza first. And then after that one, we have to pause. And then after that, we have to discuss the first stanza first. Okay? So that oh. that's uh, what we are going to do. Yes. Let me see. Um, I share a song or something. Yeah, share. The, golden hour, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we will be going to discuss the golden hour. Oh. Uh, once, uh, one at a time, okay? First stanza first, and then after that's the second, and after that the third. Yes, sure. Yeah, that one. Do you see the recitation? Yeah, I can. What should I choose? Um, which do you like? Uh, the one that has a, a lyric, maybe, that the one that has a lyrics? This? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So that we can be able to um, discuss them. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, can can we can we start on the first stanza first? Okay. What? Can first we sentence? start? Yeah. Can we start on the first line first? So that yeah, that one. Okay. So stop. Okay, stop for a while and let's discuss. Uh, why is it I can't hear the sound? Ah, uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Maybe for I'll uh, share the sound window. Yeah, okay. Can you share the sound? Yeah, I can hear it. Was just too okay. Loud. Can you can you pause? Yeah, that okay. one. Okay. So it was uh, said in there. It was just two lovers sitting in the car 
listening to blunt. Now, okay, let me ask you, Koi, on your own understanding, what do we mean by this one? Uh, maybe it's not the literal one, huh? the literal one, okay? So that means the, the most complicated one, okay? Sure. Okay, can you explain this one to me? And then after that, I'm going to give also my own understanding and explanation. Mm -hmm. Um, I imagine that's in a in a circumstance they are couple sitting in the car and they are listening to the blonde. Okay, now the and blonde I there, blonde that we are talking is what? Blonde. Um, I don't know. This is really mean. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So blonde. Um, there would be a lot of definition or meaning of this one, right? This is yes. not a blonde that is talking about the color, okay? Okay, so you can, you can, you can, uh, what is one? You can, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, search for that. Mm. Okay, so it's, it's, it's what? So the meaning of that would be, there would be a lot, right? <laughs> but um, not, it's just. Hair color. Okay. No, no, not the color. Okay, not the color. Okay. What do you think? Wait. Yeah. What do you think of the word blonde? Okay, okay. I know it's just I know it's just in dictionary and they said that it had only one definition. That's it that pale, so, yellow, or golden hair. Yeah, actually the blonde that spells as B L O N D E, right? But yes. uh, there would be a lot of definition when we are talking about blonde, not just only blonde that we are referring to, to a color that is blonde hair, something like that, right? Now, yes. let's try to dig more deeper on the song, okay? It was just two lovers, just two lovers sitting in the car listening to blonde okay so that means maybe they're listening to something okay listening to something because they wanted to create an ambience okay that would add to their um to to what is one to the happiness that they are having at that point in time so that would be my explanation about that one. So listening to blonde, okay? Because when we are talking about blonde in there, yeah, color, okay? Color, uh, it should be uh, something that is very colorful. So they wanted to create a setting that is very colorful during that time. So they are the two, they are just two of us, two of them. Okay, because they're two yes. lovers and then they are just sitting there in the car and listening to that particular uh, maybe rainbow, okay, of their life because they will going to create something that is very memorable on that particular time. Oh, see? Um, I think so Blong is, in my opinion, I think Blong is implying on... An equipment that can uh, is can record music such okay. as radio or um, recorder. Okay, so that would also be like that. So listening to blonde. So that would be your opinion, right? Because of course, uh, there would be a lot of a lot of opinions for this one, right? So the car yes. sitting in the car listening to blonde. So. So have you have you re have you searched the meaning of this? Mm, not yeah. really. I, yeah. Just... Okay. So that that's just only your own opinion. Oh, that that can also be okay because uh, again there would be a lot of interpretation for this one. That's why that's why uh, we need to dig this one more deeper because uh, actually songs every songs has its deeper meaning, not just only the literal one, okay? And yes. it's, it's good to have this one also 
because we can learn something. Okay, so as part of an IELTS also, we wouldn't know that maybe there would be something, a lyrics that would come out to the test, right? And then you need to explain that one. And we wouldn't know, right? Because we we're not we're not the one making the tests, okay? So we wouldn't know. So in preparation for your IELTS maybe, so it's good to have, it's good to inject something like this. Okay, Carl? Yes. Okay, next. So we're done already discussing that one. Listen in the car, listen in the blind, falling for each other. Mm. Oh, look at that. Falling for each other, pink and orange, skies, feeling super childish. Oh, see? Look at that. What What do you think? Oh, you first. What do you think? Okay, it's a pink and just, um, they are falling in love with the sky with the color of pink, orange, or some color. That's, and that's a peaceful, that's a peaceful time they have experienced. They have gone through it and then it has gone to the extreme instinct that they feel in super charities. Yeah. And okay. And don't have any disturbance factor that affect their feeling with the sky. I don't know if you understand my language or not. Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. I can actually. Um, okay, just like what I'm telling you, uh, that that would be it's something that's very colorful okay during that day when they create when they create something that can be very memorable on their sky, part, right yes. right okay. so and then okay again can you show can you show it again please i can Just see the me. lyrics yeah yeah that one so fall in for each other pink and orange skies feeling super childish so they wanted to go back during the time when they were still children mm -hmm. right because yes. super childish feeling so when we are talking about super childish feeling that means you wanted to go mm -hmm. back to the old times when you were young when you were still young right yes. that yes there would be That's no okay. there would be no uh inhibitions okay and that's just, just it. So they're just just doing something like uh, creating something to be very memorable. Okay. And the one that you said just a while ago, that can also be that can also be possible. Again, there would be a lot of interpretations. Okay, Koi? Okay, continue. Hmm. Seems sensible. Mm hmm oh, Okay. I think this is a poor emotional, poor emotion. Mm -hmm. Super childish. Super childish. Yeah. Thinking on the skies, feeling super childish. No Donald Glover. It's called from my. No Donald Glover. I don't know the word No Donald Glover. What does it mean? Where, where is it that? Can you show it to me? Where's the word? Yeah, this word. No Donald Glover. I can see it. <laughs> Still, the falling for each other, yeah. Um, so maybe ah, there, some... okay. No, Donald Glover missed call from my mother. Okay, uh, I don't know that one also. Can you search for that? Donald Glover. No, Actually, Donald Glover. Donald Glover, okay. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Donald Glover, yeah, that one there. Uh, Mimi. Okay, oh, it hit here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so? Okay, we have all the meaning here. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's not here. here. Oh, so it's... yes. Can you see the um, the page? Yeah. So what you does see? it mean on your own point of view? Golden hour, the lyrics and their meaning. Uh-huh. Hmm. 
Okay, it's a demonic, so we don't need to explain at all. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so, okay, so mm. let's try to do this one. So this one is the so-called, uh, what is one? Uh, the, the, the jest, okay, the summary of the golden hour. So the lyrics and their meaning, okay? Yes. So, okay, can you explain this one to me further? Oh, look at this. Um, a golden Hour is a song about falling in love. Okay. So in the lyrics, JVTA represents the situation. He's, he's in, the in the car, car with the girl. girl. Listen to music. In a, yes, just as I saw, he listened to some, yeah. um, to some um, radio tours, to the radio to listen to the music uh -huh. in the in night. The night. With all and with the detail, that's their memory at the moment with the two. Yes. So <laughs> they are they are creating memory. Okay, as the moment when the two fell in love. So that means, in other words, they are creating something to be memorable. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the lines are full of poetry. Poetry. Oh, so what does it mean when, when, we talk, when we are talking about poetry? Poetry does have some deep meaning we cannot really understand by others, by other language, the word. Yeah, because it's but poet. It's yes. Yes. Yeah, so that, that would yeah. be, uh, if you are a poet writer, that means you are so very deep, okay? So there would be uh, poetry, that means something that is, very um what is one uh something that is very colorful okay like the first verse sets the context that j j v k e says they were listening to blonde see so blonde probably referring to frank oceans in 2016 album of course we don't know this one right okay yes yeah so the reference to other hip-hop artists Continue with Donald Glover, known as the Childish Gambino. So maybe this one is a real, is real, true to life story that happened? Yes, sure. Yeah. So maybe this one is a real uh, story that happened in a person, okay, yes. in connection with him being childish in the song's lines. So his mother calls him intending to ask where he is and he has no excuses he's late because he's living the special moment with the girl he loves oh see so that would be nice so it was just two lovers sitting in the car so this one is the lyrics right yeah so that yeah. meaning is well yeah so oh, that means yeah so, so that means okay so in other words Okay, can you continue that down, Koi? Let's yeah, try sure. to, yeah, that one. So the musical progression points to the moment of the chorus when JVKA sings Shine, who shines is the girl, described as a magical creature with a glitter for skin, an image that is confirmed with the song's official video. Okay, the glowing skin is a metaphor. Oh, when we are talking about metaphor, what does it mean? It's it's a um, figure of speech. Metaphor. Yes. What does it mean, Koi? Mm, simile, some kind, some yeah, actually, special. simile is a figure of speech that can be compared using the like. Okay, using the word like. Okay, but if you're talking about metaphor, we compare this one something that we do not use the like okay uh, uh, uh as as um like like for example we compare it directly so that would be metaphor so for the power of love that gives you unique energy able to enlighten the night so this one would be the 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 the, the lyrics okay can you can you go up oh Look at this one. Can you explain this one to me now? The golden hour. 
the four direction that contain the whole meaning of the song mm. in the most significant time of your life. Yes. Learn okay. Five and okay, just for a while. Stop for that. So look yes. at this one. It's it's a very deep meaning. Meaning of the song. It's the most significant time of your life. So what does it mean, Koi? Okay. Um. Then I use that uh, slang before. That's golden hour. Time is money, right? Uh huh. You have a time is very great. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because sometimes we have stages of life, right? We have yes. stages that we are that we are facing. Okay. So when we were child, it's a different stage until such time that you when you when you became teenager, just like you, you are a teenager now. So that's also a different stage now. And then there would be come that come a time that you will become a not a teenager anymore, but you will become a young adult. So that would yes. also be another significant time of your life okay and after that you will become adult and after you will become adult you will become old age right and that would also be again the most significant time of our lives so it depends on the stages and look at this koi love has, has and through your existence with its magic energy. Yes. And now everything looks different under the new light that shine on everything. Yes. And when the love strikes you the most, of course not on the on the early age, but that would be started on the teenage years. Remember that one. So when you become yes. teenager. Until such time that you, when you become an a young adult, you will going to feel the love because love has entered your existence with its magic energy that you cannot resist. Even you want or you don't want it, whether you like it or not, still love will going to enter to your existence. And what would happen? There would be sometimes frustrations, yes. right? Sometimes there would be love that can exist, but sometimes there would be love that would be failure. Okay, and then if you, if you, if your love has been failured, so what happened? So there would be heartaches at that moment. Okay, oh, look at this. There is an interesting melodic aspect in Golden Hour. And what is that, Koi? That is, this is what her breath feel like. Okay. We have, we have um, listened it before. Okay. And then, and at, some then point, at some point, the piano string you hear at the, at the end of the song. Of the song the from one we love to love from this song to the slow the, world. Yes. Saddest. Saddest melody belonging to another track of the album. Of the title. album. Yeah, what heartbreaks feel. So look at that. Because you already on that particular significant time of your life. Because you are on and you are a teenager. You became young adult. So love struck or love entered during that during that period of your life okay and then you will going to experience slower saddest melody that is considered to be heartbreak yeah so heartbreaks because slow mm -hmm. sad melodies represents Failure. Okay? Yes. So, and then this means that some point love will fire away. Yes. <laughs> Even though you love that person very much, but sometimes love fades away. Okay? Oh and the story <laughs> and the story <laughs> ends up in 
Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Even though you created something that is golden hour during the most significant time of your life, but love, if love fades away, you end up in breaking yes. up. Okay? No and you are going to end up heartbreak. So therefore, you should have to prepare because if you are going to experience this, this would be the saddest moment of your life. Okay? <laughs> now, but as long That's as that way. moment lasted, it was a glimpse of pure, that is what I'm telling you, Koi. For as long as you created happiness, you created golden hour, Oh, look at this, huh? Pure happiness and golden hour is the song that celebrates the unique moment. So that is just the only thing that you can still remember because you created that happiness. You created mm -hmm. that golden hour. So even though there would be heartbreaks, still you are going to remember pure happiness. Yes. During your golden hour. Okay? Okay, so that is what I'm telling you, right? Okay, can you go down? Okay, now it's the end. Yes, so that would be the end. Okay, okay now, what can you say? Okay, on your own point of view. Now, I'm going to ask you some question, Koi. Have you fallen in love? Have you fallen in love? No. No, not yet. Okay, okay not yet. I'll just focus yes, on yeah. my study. Yeah, okay. Now, this is just only an advice, okay? Love may come to the most unexpected time of our life, okay? <laughs> so we cannot, we cannot say no, okay? Because... Yes. You have you have heart, okay? You have feelings. So if love enters the most significant time of our life, we cannot say no for that. So I want you to prepare because once you are going to experience that one, there would only be two, okay? That would be that would be become successful or that would be become a failure okay now if that love becomes successful so good for you okay but if that love becomes failure so that you just have to what is one you just have to um make that one as as uh what is one a thing that can be remembered that's why you should create a pure happiness golden yes. hour okay so that would be it so that would be the end of the discussion of the golden hour okay okay <laughs> so can we go to our it. lesson now <laughs> uh, sure oh my geez yeah. is that on internet yeah okay so let's go to our lesson so Okay, I hope you can see the presentation, Koi. Can you see it? Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the right time for us to Okay, just what I I'm I'm prom I promised you yesterday that we are going to stress the words in the sentences. So, we already had uh, an idea on how we are going to stress the words, right? So why do we need to stress the, the words? Because we wanted to, what? We wanted to uh, point or point out the content words in a sentence. Okay, so we wanted to, why do we need to stress? Because we <coughs> wanted to emphasize the words in the sentence okay like for example i think that rowing is a great sport if you want to stay fit and healthy so the stress is rowing great sport fit 
and healthy. Now let's try to listen and we have to underline the stress words in these sentences. Let's try to listen. Let's wait for a while. Okay. So that would be 18. Track 18. Okay. Listen very One. carefully. Ryan Giggs was a famous player for Manchester United. He played hundreds of games. Two. At London 20. Okay. For a while. Okay, let's try to hear it again. And we have to stop first on the first, and then we have to stress the, the, the words, okay? Okay, let's try. Track 18. One. Ryan Giggs was a famous player for Manchester United. He played hundreds of games. Okay, so let's try to pause for a while. So where do you think would be the stress based on the audio that we heard just while ago? Ryan so Giggs. Ryan Giggs, or Ryan, okay. Ryan Giggs was a famous player, was a famous player for Manchester United. He played, okay, hundreds of games. So where do you think would be the stress? Mm, I think the world famous. Okay, actually we have one, two, three, four stress in here. Oh. So Ryan Giggs, okay, so he was able or she was able to stress on the family name. Ryan Giggs was a famous player of Manchester United. He played hundreds of games. So where is the stress? It's gigs and then famous and then united and then the word hundreds. Oh yes. Okay. 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 Can we can we say this one with the stress coy? Go. Ryan Giggs were a famous okay. player. Again. Ryan Giggs. So you have to stress that and, one. Okay, again. Oh, uh, yes. Ryan Giggs were famous player for Manchester United. He played hundreds of games. Yes. Okay. Now, why is it this one would be uh, the stress? Because we wanted to elaborate or we wanted to uh, stress out or we wanted these words to be um what is one to be to be um pronounced well okay now who is that famous player in the manchester united it's ryan there would be a lot of ryan so therefore we have to emphasize the family name so ryan giggs was a famous player for manchester united he played hundreds of games so what did he do? Played hundreds of okay. games. Okay. Okay, next. Let's try to listen to number two. Can we learn something more different? Two. At London Why? 20. <laughs> I mean, can we learn something more different? What, what, what is that? I will send you a file that can you teach me about it? Send you a file of it. Uh, Advanced English. Advanced English? Yes. So we have to change the lesson? <laughs> no, no, no. I just send you a file and you should you open it. Hold on. Yeah. It's quite different. Oh, we should have also to remember this one, huh? Because in a speaking a speaking activity you are going to stress out also okay so yeah, sure. examiners examiner will always uh will always ask you to stress something so you should have to to uh do that what is this okay can i open it yeah sure okay, for a while listening 
Okay. We can skip listening part. Mm -hmm. Okay, just for a while, huh? I want you to teach me especially the lexical and grammar test. Where is it? It's in Page. part two. Part two. Page three. Page three. Okay. Reading? The reading? No, no, no. It's classical and grammar. Where is it? Page three. Oh. What? Part two. Part two? Yes. So that would be part two for questions 41 to 45. Write the no. correct form. No, 26 to 40. Ah, 26. Ah, okay. Lexico and grammar. Okay. So for questions 26 to 40, choose or choose the answer A, B, C, or D, which fits best each of the following questions. Write your answers in the corresponding numbered boxes provided. Okay, when we are talking about lexico and grammar, or lexico first, what does it mean, Koi? Where did lexical. you get this one? Where did you get this lesson? Lexico is, um, wait, hold on. Lexico is, From the I word lexical. Lexico, that's where we find a better location for its part. Okay. And from uh, now phrases. Yeah, because when we are talking about lexico, that would be lexical. So if you're talking about lexical, okay, it's based on the 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 the, the correct functions of the grammar. Okay, that yes. means there would be a step by step, uh, what is on step by step process on how we are going to do the grammar. Okay, so mm, okay. Um, actually, I'm not. I'm, I'm not prepared for this, but I I will try my best. Okay, <laughs> because this the one story. is the first time. Okay, so let's try. Let's try. Maybe right. So, okay. so we have to write the answers. So we are going to choose the, the answer. Best. Yeah, the best answer from A, B, C, or D, which fits best each of the following questions okay number 26 the economy was described as a blank with mounting debt and the highest public spending in europe europe okay europe so the economy was described as a a lost costs b falls down c dark horse the basket case Okay, remember, so, remember the word mounting debt. There would uh, be, yeah, when we are talking about mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe, that means they spend too much. Yes. Okay, so they will be going to have a lot of uh, expenses maybe. Okay, they spend too, too much and they have debt. Okay, when we are talking about debt, you know what's a debt? Deb, yeah, debt. Does it mean that's uh, something that you own somebody, or uh, money that you, you borrow? Own somebody. Yeah, you you borrow. Yeah, you borrow, yeah, you borrow you a lot of a right. lot amount of money. So that would be mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe. So what do you think would be the correct answer? Okay, in my opinion, that's the world that fit the best. It is let us see that's holes. Okay, why is it dark horse? Because the dark horse is... Um, wait. Hmm, so you, so what do you think of it? Okay, so the economy was described as a blank. Okay, we are describing the economy in Europe, you right? Yes. So that would be that would be the, the 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 best thing that we should have to understand first. So again, again, Koi, have in in analyzing with this particular question, we need to analyze them them uh, them carefully. And and these words like lost costs, falls down, dark horse, basket case 
has its own definition. Okay? Yes. So they have different definition, definition or definition. So we need to choose in here that would fit in this particular um, yes. particular number or particular sentence or expression, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, loss cost first. Now, we need to do like the, the so-called, uh, what is one? Uh, check, checklist, okay? We need to eliminate first. That is not. So we need to have the elimination process or procedure. We need to eliminate that is not that is not belong to the group. And once, yes. let's say, for example, if you already, or, already eliminated those that, that is not, that is not um, important, so whatever would be the one that, that is left, so that would be the final answer. Okay. I'm not familiar with this particular lesson because this one is the first time that I saw this one. Okay. And I don't know if that would be a dark horse. Okay, or okay. a basket case. Because if we are talking about lost costs, that means lost cost doesn't. Hmm. Okay, I can explain in Vietnamese, but I cannot express in English. Okay, no, yeah. it's in its meaning. Yes. Um, oh, what's the meaning? Oh, it's warm. Um, the reason is fall down, something yes. like that. Yes, okay, because loss, that means, yeah, the cost is something that, that's not, that's not expanding, but instead, it's as, not ascending, but descending, okay? Yes. So the cost of that, not, not, not as, as uh, ascending, because when we are talking about ascending, that means increasing. That would be descending. So if you're talking about the economy was described as a blank, we can also say that that can also be a loss cost. Uh, we loss. wouldn't know. Huh? That, that is just only my presumption. But okay. when we try to understand with mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe, Yes. Okay. Because if you're talking also falls down, same thing also when we are talking about lost cost, right? So falls down, but there would be something that is false. That means not true, right? Yes. A false dawn, sorry, false dawn, not a down. False dawn. Okay, not down, huh? It's a dawn. So you know what's a dawn? No. Okay. It's something like um, the dawn of the day. That means uh, it's it's in between day and night. Okay. Day. So no. yeah, it's a dawn. Okay, dawn of the day. So false dawn. That means it's something that is not correct. Okay. That is meeting the day and the night. So that would be a dawn. So false dawn. Okay? Mm. Okay. Next. When we are talking about dark horse, I don't know actually the, the, the meaning of this. Okay, dark horse. Okay, but if we are talking about dark horse in literal sense, that means... When we are mm. talking about dark, that means night, that means black, right? But we're not yes. talking literally about the black horse, okay? Dark we're not horse. talking about the dark. Oh, we're not talking oh about yes, I forgot horse. about it. Black horse, not dark horse. So I understand the two words. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. I, will, I will drop you here in that video, C to the highest uh, level of English. Uh -huh. Okay, and you see that only students with the highest level can join this competition and take the test. And oh. they have only in and have only um they have only for three hours to do this test. And you know there there even the two writing tests. So you are three, going to participate. You're going to participate in this competition. No, no. Um. Uh, first, I want 
first I have to pass the exam. Yeah, 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 yeah. So preliminary. So you are yes. going to do the preliminary first. So once you were you were going to pass, so you will be included in the contest. That's yes. why you are but, your, yeah. Okay. That be really hard. You know what they are told. They um twelve pages in total. Like the student hall only have only for three hours to do this test, then it is oh, impossible. Yeah. Okay, actually these words, koi, are all, yeah, this one are very, very, uh, what is one? Something oh. that is, uh, yeah, so highest form of English actually, okay, because yes. this one, this lesson is taught for those who are going to take up um of course like uh if you're going to take up um actually if you're going to take up bs econom uh, economics for those who are going to to study economics okay because these terms are terms that can be used in economics okay so yeah actually these words Okay, now have uh, did you already did you already inform of the correct answer for this or not yet? Hmm. Not yet. What? Do you know already the correct answer for this? Did did they no. given you the the answer the and the answer key? No, they it, not. Oh, so you are going to to do this one by your own and find out oh, the. Okay. And now, you know what? This is, I only yeah. I yes. only know the questions. Um, what is the question twenty nine? I okay. Yes. And twenty nine. The answer is kick off. It means start with something. Oh, that will be it. Can you put out is so yes, number 29 off. is kick off. Uh, let's try. Huh? I usually blank work and uh, at about half past five. So I'm home by 6.30 most nights. So 6.30 yes. most nights. So the correct, so, your, your answer is kick off. So I usually keep kick off work. Uh, yeah, that means stop. stop. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. So that's correct, huh? So and I usually off. stop working or uh, working at about half past five. So I'm home by 6.30 most nights. So kick off. Okay. Yes. Um, are this also idioms or not? It's a phrase. Uh, no. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, these are these are lexical. Yeah. Lexical words, lexical, uh, lexical words, words actually. Okay. Now. When we are talking, let's try to do number 26, Koi, huh? we have to do that one, one at a time. So if you're talking about lost cause, so that means someone or something that has no chance of succeeding. Okay, that is lost cause. Yes. Someone or something that is no chance of succeeding. So that means it's failure, low, lost cause. If we're talking about, okay, take note of this, huh? If you're talking about false dawn, so false dawn, that means, okay, these are economic words actually. Ah, false dawn is a promising situation which comes to nothing. Okay, promising yes. situation. With co which comes to nothing. Uh, so there would be a situation promising something that is, you promise something, but that is, that comes to nothing. Let's say, for example, I wanted to, to win in, um, uh, in a competition, but all your efforts comes to nothing, okay? Yes. Uh, that would be false dawn. Now, dark horse is. <laughs> Do you know this word? Okay. That's... Dark horse is usually little known contender. 
such as a racehorse that makes an unexpectedly good showing. Okay? So that means it's, it's a contender. Okay? A contestant maybe. You are, you are racing just like a horse that yes. makes an unexpectedly good showing. So there yeah. is just only unexpectedly good showing. So that is what we call a dark horse. Okay, what yes. about when we are talking about basket, but basket case? Okay, basket case. So that would be what a me? person who is functionally incapacitated from extreme nervousness, emotional distress, mental or physical overwork. So that is a basket case. Now, question, which do you think would be the nearest word that fit in this particular sentence. The let economy see, will let describe see. as A. Again, loss cause something that has no chance of succeeding. Look at this with mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe. Okay. So definitely hmm. loss cause. Is it a yes or a no? Let's try falls down again. Promising situation which comes to nothing. That would be false dawn. So the economy was described as a false dawn with mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe. Can be, right? It yes. can be. Let's try dark horse. So a dark horse is usually a little known contender such as a race horse that makes an unexpectedly good showing. So let's try. The economy was described as a dark horse with mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe. Okay, okay. so that the best thing is answer A. It's letter A. Letter A, why? Um, we will eliminate the letter C and letter D before it's in not fake. It is imply a person. And the word phones down is mean that I think it's mean that it's so that something seem to be it's it's so that something is a successful beginning, but it's not. Actually it's not. Okay. It's Again. A yeah, basket is a person is functionally incapacitated. So definitely that is not that one because we are talking about person. person. So let's that's omit hot. this one. Okay, let's omit letter D. Huh? Okay, so that there would be remaining three. Now, if you're talking about a dark horse, this one is something that is a horse race, right? It's a okay. person. Uh, contender, yeah, because a little yes. known contender such as okay. a resort that makes an expectedly only, uh, what is one, good showing. So we have to omit that. And then there would be two, false dawn, something, a promising situation which comes, which comes to nothing. What do you think? The economy was described as a false dawn with mounting debt and the highest public spending in Europe. So, what do you think? Is it A, lost cost or false dawn? Because we are talking about a description of an economy in Europe. And in Europe, there would be a lot of debt. Okay? And mm. remember that in Europe, this country is one of the highest public spending country. So therefore, if you're talking about false dawn, a promising situation, that's something that, oh, I want to go there because the economy in, in Europe is described as the 
a promising situation that mm -hmm. is that which comes to nothing <laughs> at first promising situation right oh when yes. we try lost cause lost cause is someone or something okay that has no chance of succeeding so definitely letter a is not so what would be the best to be letter b it's no called way. dawn why because the economy is described as promising right yes as promising as promising situation that comes which comes to nothing with yes. mounting debt because there would be a lot of debt although it's promising situation but with mounting debt and highest public spending in europe okay Koi? yes okay oh but of course we don't know we don't know yet right okay so but this one would be our our i don't know if you agree with me what's your what's your what's your bet what's your what's your answer Oh, because oh, AA, the economy was described as a lost cause. Let's try to understand. Huh? Someone or something that has no chance of succeeding. Yes, we can also because if you do have a lot of debt and the highest, uh, and if, if this particular country is one yes. of the highest uh, public spending in Europe, so that means there would be no chance of succeeding yes so it can oh and be. world fat chance i have the same meaning huh <laughs> i mean the world fat chance have also the same meaning and the world yes. lost cause yeah right so yes. what do you think would be is the most uh near with this particular answer let it be there be false dawn okay Okay, because if you're talking about false dawn, it's promising because we are talking about the description of the economy of Europe. So therefore, okay. it's promising, although there would be a lot of debt. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's a false dawn. Okay, Next, 27. It is Wait. necessary. Okay. Oh, hold on. Um, in the question 35, did you mm. see the word twice thema? So what kind of that grammar? Number 35, try as he might. Yes. He only what has I... yeah, try as he might. Yes, what, what kind of that grammar? Yeah, this one is correct actually, Koi. What but what kind of that grammar? What grammar is? What what do you mean? What grammar? I mean grammar, what he is. Try what as he might. Try as he might. He might. Uh, what grammar he is. Try as he might. Um, no, I, I, I can't explain definitely. Uh, is it, but, um, did you know it? Yeah, but, but try as he might is, is, is correct. Okay, and we are talking about try as he might. I guess this one is um, a figurative speech, a figure of speech maybe. Try as he might. Okay, so um, try as he might, meaning you are going to push yourself to try. Uh, to try uh, to to the best as you can so that is what we mean try as he might he only has a blank of beating the big guy in my school so narrow quick fat chance sticky end cleft stick so what's your answer in here let it be fashion. It mean there no percent of succeeding in something. So let it be fat chance. So when we yeah. are talking about fat chance, actually we're not talking of something literal that is 
fat. Okay? Because if you are talking about a fat chance, there would be a lot of chances, right? Uh, no, not what, really. What do you think? It's, it's, it's actually an idiom. Yeah, idiomatic expression that means? It means uh, you to say that you certainly do not think that something is likely to happen. Ah, okay. Fat chance. Uh, it's, it's, it's not it's not uh, what it is one. It's something that is uh, something that would be um, it's near. It's maybe it's near to happen. There would be a big chance, right? That that would happen. Okay. In reality. So there would be a fat chance for you to let's say, for example, if you're going to use that one, uh, you have a fat chance to pass the IELTS. Right? Mm, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. It's actually they, they, the opposite uh, meaning. Would, huh? It's actually opposes the meaning, you say. Why? It means that it's not likely to happen. It's enough? It means that you, you don't think that it's, it can happen. It can happen. You oh, when we can have just a uh, someone chance? in it. Yeah, Are you sure? Chance. Sure, okay. you can shut in the dictionary. Yeah, wait. It's um and it is really good. So little no, like, or really no chance. Oh, little or no chance. A low or non-existent likelihood of occurrence or success. Oh, yes. really? <laughs> ah, this one is colloquial. Location. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. So it can be it can be an idiom, but this one is uncountable. But ah, okay. But actually, if we're talking about fat, now there would also be the so-called fat fat cat. Actually, okay, that's an idiom also. So if you're talking about fat cat, so we are talking about something. A public official or something that is working in in a company, okay, that has a highest highest position, and then they had the so-called fat cut. So if we are trying to understand about fat, that means it's big, right? Yes. Yeah, but this one is the other way around. So that means a little or no chance of succeeding. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Mm, so it's going to be very. Uh, uh, so try as he might, he only has a fat chance of beating the big guy. Ah, uh, okay. Because uh, this he had no chance of being. Yes. Yeah, of beating because he wanted. Uh, he tries, he try uh, ha, as he might, okay, but he has only a little chance of beating the big guy in the school, okay? okay because you see, if that, yeah, okay, see, it's really easy, yeah, okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, Koi. So I guess we're, we're we're done. So we just have to, uh, do I have to now? Can you send this one to me so that I can able to study this? Okay. What? Send what? Can you can you uh can you send this one so that I send, can help you? Send the what? Uh, yeah, this one, this one, the lexical and uh, grammar, so that tomorrow we can be able to discuss this one with you. Yeah, I just send the chat for. Yeah, huh? So that I can help you also. Okay. I have to okay. study this one. Okay, because this okay, these and... words are unfamiliar to me. Okay, this one is um, unfamiliar, so that means we need to study this first, right? Yes, because In... it's C two level. Yeah. C2. Okay. Yes. Okay. Really? So you are going if you pass, so you are going to participate with this. Yes. Yeah. So this one is an activity in school. In your school? No, 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 no. It's um national test of my is in Vietnam national ah, test. So it's a national test. Yes. Okay. So once Actually, you pass, 
but actually when you scroll off the test you can see there's lots of information as and this is some not it is not something that human can do mm -hmm. you know what only just only few can they in vietnam can achieve record at the yeah, first no. record, second record, why record. yeah why do you need to do the national exam no i've just Take this at a mock test to repair for my Robin te Robinson test. Ah, uh, um, okay. I want to so, show my ability to my teachers. Yeah, so uh, it's just only a mock test, not just uh, that's okay. the that's the real. But, yeah. But it's but the test soon re re um but the test soon support the level of the Robin test I taste. Yeah. It's really okay. hard for me. Yes. But actually, I will try again. Yeah, but actually these words are 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 difficult actually. Okay. If you don't have any, yeah, if you don't have any ideas about this one, so these are very difficult to understand. Okay. Yeah, now sure. if you can be able to send this one to me, I might help you. Um maybe I can I can I can research okay words so that tomorrow during our our discussion. So can we can we discuss this one by tomorrow again? Tomorrow, yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Huh. So yeah. So that I can you can I can help you in the best the best that I can. Okay. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Koi. So thank you oh, so wait. much. Huh. Actually, there are two writing tests in this test. We can take it at a um at the writing test. Oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. There are two so, written tests in this test. Really? Yeah, you can. Oh no! Actually, there are three writing tests. Oh my jeez! Yeah. If you scroll off, uh, in page nine, page ten, uh, no, page ten, page eleven, and page. Yeah, this reading. So you you have also reading. Reading um, work for, and yeah. few, yes. And there are so three reading. writing tests in total. Yeah, right. Oh my god! In here, oh, look at this so, one. So right you know what? This person with this is only person with supernatural ability can do this test. No, you have that ability. Okay, I do believe that. Okay, <laughs> no, actually, these are these are just easy. Actually, Koi, the, the 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 things that you should have to to understand would be this one. Okay, the lexical and the grammar. Because this one, if you don't have any idea about the about these words, it's hard for you to do it. Okay. But when yes. in reading, in reading, it's not a problem because you just have to analyze. Okay. You can be yes. able to you can be able to answer by merely looking at the readings and analyze them. You can answer them, Koi. Okay, because all the answers can be found in the reading. So that's easy. Okay. In the writing also, you just have to expound your ability or your ideas in writing because there would also be a guide in here. Right? Yes. Yeah. So it's just easy. But the most important thing that you should have to review would be the words in here, Koi, like this. Okay? Yes. Because if you don't have any idea of this, uh, even me, even me, it's hard for me to do this at first because I don't have any idea of this one because it's a combination of not just only the usual grammar, but it's a combination of idioms, collocations, okay, and others, okay, not just only idioms, collocations, but it's also sometimes there would also be a sarc 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 sarcastic sarcastic yes. yeah sarcastic words in here yeah just like just like what you what you said the fat chance okay wherein the it's the chance. other way around fat chance is if if i may understand that one so there would be a big chance for you to pass but oh my the, God. the meaning is different okay yes. because when we are talking about fat, that means it's big. But yes. that's not the meaning of it. See? Yeah. <laughs> See. Okay. Okay. Okay, God. So I have to, yeah, I have to, yeah, because you already sent this one to me, so I have to open this one, huh? Yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay.
Okay? Okay. 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 So for that, it's about time for us to say goodbye now. And we'll see you again by tomorrow during our... Okay. Yeah, so that would be 9 o'clock tomorrow. Okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, so bye-bye. Okay. Have a nice day. Good night. You too. Have a good night. Bye. -bye. Okay, I can.